just got out of Pilates, you guys. If you go to the Queen Creek or the East Mesa studio, you have got to take Sheena's class. She is amazing, and I know my thighs and butt are gonna be burning tomorrow. And this is like one of the first classes where I walked out and had to drink all my water. <laughs> Um, so some teachers are definitely harder than others. Jennifer and Sheena are my favorite um, that I've taken so far at the Queen Creek Studio. Um, and I haven't gone to the East Mesa too many times, but I'm definitely going to go back there now because Sheena works there more. So I'm going to go there on Fridays to take her class. Oh my God. My little shadow. Yeah, I'm talking about you. My little baby. Hey, you guys, so I was going to refresh for the night because we're going to go to a new restaurant, Chris and I, tonight. Um, it's called Bourbon and Bones, and I was about to put one of my favorite new fragrances on from Dossier, and I spoke about this site a few times here on my channel, but if you haven't heard, it you full sizes of luxury dupes for perfume, and these are all really luxurious, high-end perfumes hundreds to choose from. Um, I'm absolutely loving this one and it's inspired by the Tom Ford fragrance. Now you're getting the same quality as the Tom Ford fragrance, just the bottle might be a little less glam, but for me it's not that le not that less glam. It has a magnetic little closure, which I think is very glamorous. The bottle is glass and it's very sleek and seamless. It says the top, middle, and base notes on each of the bottles as well as the name. This one is the Floriental Coconut and it is inspired by the Tom Ford Sol, oh, I'm gonna say this wrong, Solo Blanc Eau de Perfume. And the top notes are cardamom, pistachio, and bergamot. Middle notes are ylang ylang, tuberose, and jasmine. And the base notes are cedarwood, amber, benzoin, and coconut. So I really smell the like amber and coconut, which are notes that I love in fragrance. If a fragrance has that, I'm probably going to appreciate it. Um, and it has a very like, it has the coconut scent, like summer vibes, but it's not overboard. Um, it's still very like full bodied. It's a very like womanly, more mature scent. It's not um, like a coconut, super sweet, teen scent, if that makes sense, which I'm not knocking those because I love those too, but I'm going to spray a little bit this on my skin. Oh yeah, it smells so good. And now it reminds me of summer because I've been wearing it all summer. And I love that this mist is so nice and fine also. It really is like having the fragrance, the luxury fragrance without their packaging. Um, but if you want to try them out, I will have everything linked down below for you as including a discount code if you'd like to sign up and try it. So I'm going to get the eight ounce Wagyu. Really? No, you're not. Get out of there. Mm, crab cakes, asparagus, potatoes a girl in, and look at that filet. Oh my goodness. Yum, 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 yum. So, so tonight I picked up a rotisserie chicken at Costco and we're going to have some like open face sandwiches. Um, I cut up some tomato. We have some like basil, lettuce, pesto, things like that that I can mix and match. We'll see what we do. But I'm going to be trying out the wild grain slow fermented olive oil ciabatta bread. This was in the freezer. Put it straight from the freezer into the oven on the rack directly. And it just came out of the oven. It's nice and do you know how crispy that is? Nice and crispy. I can't wait to cut into that. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes though. And I'll tell you guys how it is, but it smells amazing. So these beautiful pieces are from QVC. You can guess that Mama B did get them for me. Aren't they beautiful? I love how they sparkle, but I wanted to show you how I paired them here over in the dining room. And this little pumpkin pie looking item is actually a garland I found at TJ Maxx. Look at this yumminess. I'm about to have some avocado toast with an egg on top, so good. So today I made this autumn mix that will be on Instagram soon, if it's not already up. But it's a mix of pretzels, Chex Mix, popcorn, candy corn mix, little mini Reese's, um, and then like a vanilla, orange, white chocolate like drizzle. Whoops, it's just a colored orange, but it doesn't just taste like vanilla. Isn't it so pretty and festive? Okay. Dinner doesn't look that pretty. It doesn't look that pretty because 
the sauce got splashed everywhere, but believe me, it's going to taste good because it's it was a labor of love. It really was, but it was this HelloFresh. It does not look like that at all right now. Look how bad. This one looks pretty. We'll focus on this one. The one looks semi good. This one's yours, baby. Hey guys, I'm at my friend Nella's. Um, Janet, Nella, and I are driving over to the Princess Resort to meet up with everybody else from my office because today we're doing um, like an employee appreciation kind of day. Our doctor is taking us to the spa and we're doing aerial yoga, which I'm a little nervous about, I'm not gonna lie. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm petting a kitty. She's so cute. Um, but yeah, we're just waiting for Nelsie to get ready and we're gonna head over there and do aerial yoga and then gonna get massages and have a really nice lunch and then relax by the pool. So it's just a fun-filled day and I don't have to work on a Thursday. Pretty awesome. You're a very sweet kitty. Yeah. Oh my goodness. the area of yoga. Yesterday was so much fun. So we had like a little team building kind of day at the spa at the Fairmont Princess in Scottsdale. Dr. Rockland took all of the girls. We all got to go together and we did aerial yoga, which my butt hurts today. And I'm pretty sure it was from aerial yoga. It was so fun and different. I really liked it. And I all the girls had so much fun. We were laughing and just having so much fun with that. And then we had a little champagne toast. And then we had our 60 minute massages and they were deep tissue massages. I really needed that. I have so many like knots in my upper shoulders. And then we had a really nice lunch. Went to the sauna and got to be by the pool all day. It was just a full day of spa time and girl time and it was really amazing. And I did try to include some clips but I couldn't have my phone with me in some areas and like it was good that I couldn't though because it really made me just relax and enjoy um, just time away from my phone. You, you know? guys, I'm obsessed with my nails. I did chrome nails and they're absolutely gorgeous. Okay, this is them in the light. So you can see a little bit of the shift, but I'll show you them in the shade too, because they look stunning without the sunlight hitting them too, but I'm so happy. Clearly I just went and got my nails done and it's a fry day. Happy. And here's how they look in the shade. They are just as amazing. They're so pearlescent, so gorgeous. I'm so in love. So I know that my nail tech started with bubbles, OPI bubbles as like a, a nice light pink base and then she put this like glittery mix on top of it to do the chrome effect to the Antiques Merchant Square here in, is this Mesa? I think this is considered Chandler. Mesa. Chandler. No, it's Chandler. Oh, it's Chandler? Okay, it's Chandler. We're gonna go have some fun. This place has all these little booths with different <laughs> vendors.
jewels came in from Refined. This is what would Lizzie do her new jewelry line. And of course I had to support my girl because I know she would do the same for me. Um, so I purchased two of her earrings and then she sent me a third um, as well, which was so sweet of her. So I got the Crescent Moon Studs, the Clarity Huggy Small Gold Filled, and then she sent me the Raise the Bar Stud and they look absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to get my second ear piercing re-pierced so I can wear um, earrings in my second piercing again, but look how pretty and dainty these are. I'll put the hoops on so you can see those, but I cannot wait to wear these. Pizza and wings kind of nights. 